I hear you? Can I hear you, please? Is that energy running through your veins? Because to match the electricity that is about to walk on stage, you best be supercharged, okay? I have our final closing neuro talk coming out for you. And this man's battle sword is the power of joy. Are you ready for that? I needed to get erupting in here for dual elite neuroencoding specialist Marcus Weiss. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. <laughs> da 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 Yeah, 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 that's right. I'm the Marcus Weiss experience. Where is it? There it is. Oh, can I have the Marcus Weiss? Yeah, that's me. The Marcus Weiss experience. It's not simply Marcus Weiss because we're all more than our name. Yes or yes. Our name is not our identity. Yes or yes. Our past is not equal to our future. Yes or yes. Okay. I'm a dual neuroencoding, dual elite neuroencoding certified, dual elite certified neuroencoding specialist. It's a lot of title. And I'm here to bring you joy. Yes, on purpose. Any moment, any day, any life. So you can have the energy to get over any obstacle, like through any challenge, beyond any issue. Yes. Or yes. yes. Right, yeah. But what about this? Right. Yo, slides changed. Only a little bit, but not really. Because now all of a sudden I've stopped cheering and your Pied Piper's all gone and chances are you're focused on a problem. I mean, look, the world is, is full of them. In fact, when I was an actor in New York, professional actor, driven to make it happen, all I saw ahead of me were these tall buildings and dark alleyways. Aaron, you know what I'm talking about. And so I charged ahead in this tough business, right, that I saw ahead of me and I had like, you know, head first, chest in, frown on. And I, you know, I was working. I made stuff happen. I dressed up as a gorilla, and I, I dressed up as a stick of butter. I did anything it took. <laughs> you know me. But I felt bad. Until one day, Blue Man Group found me. Yeah. Which is this show that exists to bring joy to people. And so for over a decade... I had the gift from the universe, y'all, to embody this character from head to toe. It's a character whose sole mission it is to create joy in other people. For those of you who've seen it, that's all it is. That's it. That's it. And I felt great. And I started living. And I was excited to move forward. And now you all want me to be your little blue man, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the outside circumstance, which in this case is me, to light your fuse again. You're like itching for it, yeah? Yeah, you got like, you know, okay, there's like a dream inside of you waiting to be made real outside. It's like the same thing. You're like a, a rocket set for takeoff, but you don't have a match to light that fuel. And that match, I believe, is joy. Yeah. In fact, who would like some more joy right now? Raise your hand, please. Give me a, okay, and give me like a yes. Okay, great. Okay, so you know what? Let's just do this whole thing again, and I'll prove it to you that that's what you want. Uh, can we do three, two, one, ignite? Go. Oh. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Fantastic! That was fantastic! Yes or yes? yes. 
Okay, right. And now all of a sudden you're excited, right? You feel vibrant. You're looking forward, right? You're like looking forward to any possibilities that life has to offer. You're going to embrace them all. You know something wonderful is going to happen because you can and you will make it so. Yes or yes? yes. Or maybe yes. yes. Ah, so that's, not my, that's not my brand. But I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I know you do because you just did it. It's called looking forward, man. It's called looking forward in joy. Because to look forward in joy is to enjoy life. That's what it is. So why would you choose anything else? And yet you do. You do. Even if it's every once in a while, even the NEI community, right, maybe in the dark corners, you reveal that you get stressed. You get overwhelmed, you look at the dark side, you know, you procrastinate, you hesitate. You just don't feel good. Maybe you're like, oh, I just don't feel like it. Or maybe you get to, you know, you make yourself busy, even in your day jobs, right? Or you, you, get, you get imposter syndrome and you excuse it as, as preparation or something. You know that you're clear on your goals on the inside, Right? You're not making the things happen on the outside. What, what, what are those it? Like, you get to the end of the day and you're like, I didn't do it again. What are those it's? What are those activities that you keep not doing? It's different for every one of us. You keep waiting for the outside world to light your fuse. Right? That's what happens. But the thing is, like, I, like, I get it. Because the thing is, you know, what you want is, 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 is not to freeze up. Because when those things happen, you're like, you, you freeze. And why do you freeze? Because you don't look forward to whatever's next. And sometimes you do it for a second, sometimes you do it for like a week, and God forbid for a lifetime. God forbid for a lifetime. Is that what you want? No. Or maybe you want a little pause, like a little pause on life, you know, maybe. Like, oh, if you could just, everything just stand still for a second, you know, so I could just take a breather, and you know, like in a movie, like the whole world stands still. No, no, it's not gonna happen. Okay, I ain't seen life stand still yet. You got to be able to be your own match. You got to be your own match. And I get it. I didn't leave Blue Man. I was let go. Creative differences. My match was taken away. And I still had my incredible wife and my beautiful children and other good jobs. But I didn't realize that that was my identity that my catalyst to joy was gone and that that catalyst came from the outside. I couldn't step into that character every day anymore. I lost the script. And so I started focusing on bad things and feeling bad things and doing bad things. And before I knew it, I started slipping. And there came a point where I didn't want to wake up. And that was not long ago. And I'd wake up in the morning and first thought was, my eyes would open and I'd go, oh no, not again. Like, I would open my eyes and see no light and choose to not turn it on. Here or there. 
but insist on thinking and thinking about all the bad things that happened to me yesterday and all the bad things that were certainly going to happen to me going forward in the day. I was depressed, man. And I was thinking all the negative thoughts and all I saw ahead of me was stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. So I entered the day expecting all that. That's the energy I entered the day with. And so I got it. You know that. You head straight towards it. And I rammed right into things. And then I had confirmation. Yep, you're right. That sucked. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's hard. You know what I mean? I was like, me, this guy in this country, man. And then so by the time I got to bed at night, it was like, thank God, that's over. My favorite part of the day was being unconscious. <laughs> right? I was like, thank goodness. I don't, have to see, I don't have to see anything for a while. And then I would wake up and I would go, this is not a long-term solution. And what that means meant was I had hope I knew there was something inside of me that I could be happier that I could be more excited about living like I knew that I had the fuel inside of me but I didn't know how to light it and one day a magnetic megapreneur of a mentor sort of ninja his way into my life. And he gave me the keys to my own ignition. And yeah, before I could say, magnificent! Like, it was crazy. All of a sudden, I found myself not wanting to go to bed, and I couldn't wait to get up in the morning, and I was looking forward to igniting my own day by saying it's going to be a great day, knowing that I could make it so, that I would make it so, that I needed to make it so, all by myself. But it's the ignition that activates our clarity. It's ignition that enables acceleration. Ignition makes all things possible. Because you look forward to making, to, to making that step into that circle. Raise your hand if you remember the, the exercise with the circle, right? That was a mini version of all this. You were looking forward to stepping into it. Why? Because you knew something wonderful was going to happen. You did that. That's fantastic. Give yourself a round of applause. You did that. And by the way, applause, all applause is is energy and confidence. The confidence that that was a good thing and the energy to want to do more of it. So who wants two keys to joy right now? Raise your hand and say yes. Okay, I have it now. Because repetition is the mother of skill, you've heard of these. Here's one. A ding a ling a ling a ling. It's called the stop technique. Here, catch. Here's another one. A ding a ling a ling a ling. It's called celebration. Okay, here we go. You got it. Did you see y'all like reaching out for them? It's amazing. Okay, good. So, um, because this is repetition, uh, we've done this before, right? So, you know, take an I am statement, all right? Um, and um, what are you going to. Um... Actually, uh, hang on. Just kidding. Everybody stand up. <laughs> stand up and say yes. yes. And celebrate. That's it. That's great. Good, all right, good job. Okay, you know what? I was kidding. You just did both. You just interrupted the pattern of sitting down and being confused at what I did by standing up and saying yes, inserting that yes in there, and then celebrating. Okay, that's the essence of ignition. Congratulations. Right? Yeah, I did that. It's not that complicated. So quickly, do we have time for uh, stop technique? Yes or yes, crew? Yes, okay, good. So sit back down and get your identity statement, please. I am something, something, something. Raise your hand if you have it. Something that is life-affirming and is going to energize you in this moment. Okay, great. So it can be I am magnificent. It can be I am wonderful. It can be I am confident. It can be I am magnificent. Whatever it is, okay? okay. Then you're going to feel unresourceful first. You're going to sit down and you're going to think about something that doesn't make you feel good on purpose. Hang on, not yet. Then you're going to say stop when you get up. If you can't get up, please just shift in your chair or look somewhere else in the room while you say stop. Okay? And then you're going to insert your identity statement and celebrate right away. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Okay, here we go. So, um, everybody have your identity statement? Raise your hand. Good. Okay, here we go. And... 
feeling resourceful, feeling resourceful. And stop, stand up, say your identity statement, and then celebrate, and sit down. Feel unresourceful, and stand up, don't stay in it. Say your identity statement, and celebrate, sit back down. Unresourceful, and stand up, say stop, identity statement, and celebrate, and sit back down. Unresourceful, stand back up. One last time. Get up. And so, that's it. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that is joy. You did that. I wasn't even talking anymore at the end. You did that, and you all chose to do that. You were the match. You are the match. You lit the fuel of your own inside, and now you're looking forward to what's next. You're looking forward to whatever is next, the positive possibilities. And yeah, you can see I'm reaching into my pocket, including the positive possibility of staying in touch with me. <laughs> now, okay, so while you're, fo while you're following me on Instagram or any of the socials, look, I didn't do it alone. I got help, and we all know who I got help from. And so did y'all. And I got some keys. We all have some keys that others may not have. See the positive potential in any meeting. Any meeting can be meaningful for your life. And that is how I invite you to look at life. There was a young man working the bathroom every day here. And, after, and even before, it was beautiful, even before Joseph talked about make eye contact, I've been making eye contact and talking to him for three days. That man talked about, no, it's okay, we can all do it. If you want to learn how to do it, please stay in touch with me. Or connect me out in the hallway. That, and that gentleman had a goal. He's working 12-hour days, seven days a week for the next two months. So we can buy himself a car so we don't have to take public transportation. And his eyes lit up. And his heart lit up. And he's looking forward to that because he's seeing his life. And all it took was an intentional sparkle from me in the bathroom. <laughs> that was weird. But I did it. You know, when maybe in retrospect I could reconsider. Well, Les Brown, here's what's crazy. Les Brown was up in the fireside chat. And I hadn't reached into my bag of goodies yet. The new encoding bag we all got, the VIP bag, and something when he was saying, what is your must? <laughs> or was it, what is your must do? And something in me reached into that bag and uh, I pulled this out. I pulled this out. Did you all know that was in there? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the team didn't know that, that, was, that that's my logo. That was just meant as like, I'm the experience, but you don't need me. You don't need me. You can choose me. But everybody, I'm Marcus Weiss. And I believe that joy lights the fuel of our lives. So I choose this. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you.